Okay, let's start with the introduction to electrical engineering. So first, we have Ohm's law. So for Ohm's law, we have the basic equation voltage or V equal to I times R or current times resistance. And for power, we have this power formula, P is equal to I times V or current times voltage. So for Ohm's law, I highlighted it in red. So these are the basic formulas you need to remember. So for the legend, we have voltage V, current I, resistance for R, and power for P. Okay. So let's have the power formula, the basic power formula. So using Ohm's law, for example, what if we only have resistance and voltage? We're only given R and V. So how are we going to solve power? So given this equation, power is equal to current times voltage, we can express current in terms of voltage and resistance. So what happens is we have V over R times V or voltage. So as a result, we have V squared over R for power. So in case we don't have the current, we are, we are only given resistance and voltage, we can still solve for power. So again, so we have power equal to current times voltage. So what if in this case, we are only given resistance and current? We don't have voltage. So if we don't have voltage, so given this basic equation, power equal to equal to current times voltage, we can express uh, voltage in terms of current I times R. So we have power equal to I squared times R. So these are the formulas that we can use in solving for power. Also this one. This one is the basic formula. Okay. So in your experiment, for the first experiment regarding familiarization, so this is the circuit diagram. This is the basic diagram. So we only have one resistor and one DC source. Don't forget to draw um, this one. Don't forget to draw ground. Okay. So what you need to do is measure the voltage across the resistor and also the current that passes through the resistor. Okay, that's it. 